well guys they're about to come get me for the surgery again as you know i've been having health issues and this i'm a fourth surgery fourth surgery in a three months it's Maltamasi bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music Welcome, it's Mauta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Spice exposed what really happened in Dominican Republic and addresses pregnancy. Stay tuned for the stories in detail, and remember to follow me on Instagram at Mauta underscore Massey. Yeah. Gratitude are the right attitude Stand firm in a life and don't move rude No sell us all for reach to your goal We all have to make it the truth we land full Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes I'm so blessed them who are me stress My success bring me happiness Who the most I bless no one can test Oh yes Gratitude are the right attitude. Perfect mindset to start your day This one is called Gratitude by Keeble Upness Simple uplifting lyrics that connect. Flow goes well with the rhythm and it has a positive message. The hook is catchy and gives the listener a serene vibe. The music video demonstrates upward mobility and yes, it's possible to achieve. Just stay focused and thankful. The people who are calling for music that teaches morality and offers a different outlook on life. Gratitude falls in that category. So give the full song a listen by clicking the link in the description box below. Special big ups going now to Upness Movement. Check out Keeble Upness on Instagram at Keeble Upness. Make him know say a motor massy senior. Spice went live on Instagram today, massive, and she had over 40,000 viewers. During the live, she addressed several topics. One, the reason behind her visit in Dominica Republic. Two, her near death experience. Three, God is good all the time. Four, being thankful. Five, the pregnancy picture along with some other topics. But those were the main ones. Anyways, just in case you guys weren't on the live, here it is. These people crazy. All right, so yeah, I was on vacation and I started vomiting. I started throwing up. So the vomit became very alarming to me because it, it, it wouldn't stop. So out of concern, the surgeon that I know over there, and my friends actually, big up to my friends over there, they called the doctor and they was like, no man, something is wrong with Grace. Like, can you come and check it out or whatever, whatever. When he came, to be honest, when I went there, let me go back a little bit. When I went there and I did my consult with my stomach, he was like, he asked me if I had a hernia because he noticed there was a bulge right at my belly button there or to the if you look back on the picture like long story short i was like no i was like not that i'm aware of or whatever but obviously they did the procedure and he never see nothing you know wrong and the reason why he never see anything wrong was i want to get to that i want to take time and explain my story was because the hernia was at my side um and so when they did the procedure to the front to do your breasts they had no reason to do um scans to the side and so he didn't see that i have a, a hernia so long story short to just fast forward quickly i vomiting i went to the doctor um and he was very concerned when he touched my stomach i was in a like feeling a lot of pain and i kept vomiting i kept throwing up i couldn't keep nothing down it just repeatedly vomiting and so he called and um at the day when i went it was a sunday and so there wasn't no Body there to do like the MRI and stuff. Let me go back in the phone again. Because I want to share, I want to share everything. Okay, so he called an ambulance. That's me when I was in the ambulance. All right, all right. So that was when I was in the hospital. That was when I was being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. Okay, so let's get off this picture now and stop sharing. So after they rushed me to the hospital, they did an MRI. You know that big machine then pushed me through the the MRI machine. And I can vividly remember when they came back with the results while I was in the hospital and I saw 
different like doctors and surgeons coming into the room i can vividly remember the look on their faces like something was wrong i remember i, I took i took up my phone and i called my sister and i was crying like i was i went ballistic because them over there them not talk english them speak spanish so most of them did that did that talk spanish but you you know when you can't see somebody facial expression looking back at it and when i what i went through i can say that it's like them i look upon me like how the fuck is she right here like not dying or crying or in you know like how oh, she just lied on this up because what they found in the mri scan was that i had a hernia i want to explain this properly i'm sorry i couldn't put down the phone but what they found was that I had a hernia to my side and my intestines went through the hernia. My sister sent me a picture. I wonder if we can find it. Send me the picture there where you send me. I never saved the picture. But I guess whoever knows that I wanted to show you what it was like. But I had a hernia. It poked through my, my intestines was going through the hernia. Because, you know, the hernia is a space in the muscle. And so what I was told was that my intestines was going through that little space that I had in the side, which is the hernia, and it erupted. But thank God that I had the hernia because it erupted on the outside of uh, outside of my muscle wall. I don't know if I'm even saying it correctly. The, the intestines erupted outside of that hernia muscle wall. And so if... If I didn't have the hernia, which is that space in the muscle, like that hole, the intestine would have erupted inside of me. If I'm not saying it correctly, I apologize. I'm just trying to be as accurate as all the doctors explained it to me. But when the intestines erupted, it started to poison my body. And it sent me into a sepsis shock. And the sepsis is the poisoning. That sepsis kills a lot of people. And that's, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful to be here, to be alive, to be talking to you. I'm so grateful for this day. I'm so grateful to God. So the sepsis started attacking my lungs. And it started to attack some of the organs in my body. Um... The sepsis literally start to eat my skin. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to explain it to you. But my skin start to deteriorate. It start to eat my skin. It start to attack my lungs. And I didn't even know that sepsis was so dangerous. Or I, when I woke up and what I was going through, I'll get to that point, but it's like, looking back at it i can't believe that there's something as sepsis that is so dangerous it literally right no, the entire part of my stomach where let me just show you the picture i'm and, and i didn't want to share this picture I didn't want to share the picture because my nose said there's so many people that are so insensitive and the, the, the blogs and the media are going to have a field day with it. Some might laugh, some might mock me, some might jeer me. But I want to be open and I want to be vulnerable. And I feel like I, I got, I oh God, this. This is a testimony. This happened to me for a reason. Like, I'm not going to keep it a secret. It don't matter how you know, look at it. It don't matter what you want to say. It don't matter what happens to me after today. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I know. Yes, I'm scared. Um, yes, I did not want to personally share this picture, but I got a testimony from God. I'm going to have to share it. I can't keep this a secret. I have to talk about God. I have to talk about Jesus. I have to show you what God did for me. I have to show you what Jesus brought me through, what Jesus walked me through. So even though I didn't want to share this picture, and I'm going to tell you it's very graphic. If you don't want to see my journey, I would advise you not to be on this live Take a deep breath. It's very graphic. But I, I, like I said, I just want to be vulnerable and open with you. I want to be honest. I want to share what happened to you. I'll share it very quickly. And this is what the sepsis did to, my, did to me. It ate away my entire stomach. Um, and I died in DR. Okay, guys? 
I literally died. And this is when I died. Like nobody can tell me different. Um, yeah, I know it's very graphic. Um, I'm sorry, but I want to just get this off. I want to share everything. I just want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God. I want to share my testimony. I want to show you what God did for me. Jesus is king. And I just believe that I need to highlight that. I need to showcase that. I need to show you how good God is. And so that's what I woke up to. Okay. So um, let me just take a deep breath because when I see things like that, I get emotional. I don't want to get emotional. I want to remain strong. I kind of put the blue hearts over it because um, some part of it was just too tragic. But, um, whoo, whoo, ah, mm -hmm. so yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to get emotional. So that's really what happened to me. So after the sepsis ate away my stomach, it attacked my lungs. The doctors over there in DR, I just want to, um, highlight them a little bit. I want to big them up. Um, I am grateful, so grateful that they never gave up on me. They, um, whew. let me stop a little bit. I don't want to cry. I just want, I just want to, you know, um, get everything out there. Um, all right. One minute, one minute, one minute. Ooh. All right. So, mm -hmm. I promise I wouldn't cry. So. All right, so where was I? I um I was thanking the doctors in DR that never gave up on me. That was fighting through the sepsis to um to save my life. So they um they opened my chest. I have a scar going down. They had to open me up to go inside to stitch back the hernia. I guess to place back the intestines in the wall that it was supposed to be in. <clears throat> and so they, um, they opened me up, they went inside, they stitched back the hernia and, um, yeah, I want to fast forward. Okay. They opened me up, they stitched back the hernia. And so when I woke up, Big up to, um, I don't know if the doctors want to be mentioned, but big up to, to the doctors over there. It was a lot of them. The infectologist, oh my God, was so amazing. Dr. Paralsis. Mm-hmm. Paralga, I think, or paralysis. I'm so sorry, but the infectologist was amazing. My surgeon was amazing. The other doctors, it was, because I remember vividly, there were so many people in that room. But I, I, <laughs> they could have given up on me because, like I said, I, I died in DR. Um, but I thank them that they didn't, that they fought through what I was going through, that they went inside, that they stitched the hernia, that um they repaired me that they um they did what they did so i'm so grateful and i thank everyone from dr who fought with me i thank you jesus i will not stop saying this and so i'm a type of person i worship a lot I worship at home. I give God glory. I give God thanks. I give God praise. But I never used to come out publicly all the time and just to include him and stuff like that. So, you know, when I'm at home, I'm like a totally different person from that artist that you know. You know, I'm a woman of God. I'm a God-fearing woman. I'm a prayer warrior. And that's why I go through so much. Because that's what happens when, you know, you accept God as, you know, your king. And also, that's why no weapon will rise up against me never prosper. So I was in the hospital from October. I left DR, I came to America. Um, <laughs> and I did another surgery immediately when I got here, okay? 
um they had tried to staple staple me up when i came to america they opened me back up they put me back in surgery because i was infected with the sepsis so bad i was infected with the sepsis so bad so that they, they wanted to kind of clean me up so i did another surgery again all right okay fast forward I was in the hospital from October to December. That's how bad my situation was. So a lot of times I used to go on my phone and I used to people say, oh, she not come explain this. Oh, she not have life. Oh, she not. Like I was dying. Like I literally was losing my life. I, um, I was going through a lot. So apart from that, that I went through, I was in the hospital for months. I was going through other things. I was, I came out of the hospital in December. I had that wound still when I came out because that wound had to self close. It's been six months now. And so, yes, it is healed. It is closed. And we're going to get to that part. But before we get to today, after they let me out of the hospital and I, I went home to my family, you saw the Christmas pictures. I was wrapping my kids' gift and present, even with that wound open. I was so determined to still let them have a good time. I was so grateful to God, right? And so when you saw me in Christmas, yes, I did still have that scar underneath my clothing. Um, I don't want to leave anything out because I'm not going to do this every day with you guys. Um, big up to Kiki. I just said she's a woman of God. You know, we pray and worship every day and all the time. So big up yourself. Just give God the glory. Just give God the glory. And even the bloggers. I know not have a field day with this life. But when you not even talk about me, even if you not talk bad about me or whatever it is, when you not talk about me and you not talk about my story, just never forget to mention God. Never forget to mention say God is God. He's the King. King of Kings, Lord of Lord, the Alpha, the Omega. Hilo him, Hilo ish, chastity. Like, just remember to include God. Because today is not about me. Just take me out of the equation. Drag me all on the wall. Bash me all on the wall. Say all the bad about me that you want. I'm okay. I'm good with it. Because I always tell people, I don't care what people think about me. As long as my heart is right with God, me good. So you can say whatever you want about me, but just remember to include God today because today may I give God him glory. Today may I give God him praise. Today may I want to tell us that Jesus is king. Today may I want to tell us that there is a God. Today may I want to be the testimony for show you what God walked me through, where he took me from and to this. And yes, I'm going to show you my scars. I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to show you <laughs> that there is a God and what he brought me through. So I was in the hospital. Let um, me go back in at the phone again. Uh, bear with me. And I couldn't eat for months. I want to get to that part. I, I wasn't eating, um, which is why I see most of you saying, I got my face done. I got my nose done. I got whatever done. Um, I didn't go to the DR to do a BBL. That was not true. Um, not every time you hear surgery, everybody think a BBL. I think it's something with black people. Every time when they hear surgery, they just automatically think a BBL. I was not trying to do a BBL. Um, but fast forward to people thinking that I lost weight because of the surgery that I did. That was not true. I went into the hospital um, as 200 pounds. And when I came out of the hospital, I was 170 pounds. Or I should say I was 165. I lost 35 pounds because I wasn't allowed to eat. So this is how I was eating. They used to feed me through my neck. I still have the scars. Um, if I don't know if you can see there. If you see three dots on my neck. I don't know if it's there. But yeah, they used to feed me through my neck. And that's how I lost weight. So... If you feel like my facial features, don't think that I did anything. And please stop saying I did my face, I did my nose, I did my this, I did my that. I lost weight. I lost weight because I was sick. I lost weight because I was going through it, okay? And so I was getting fed through the tubes in my neck, okay? Um, so that's really why I lost a lot of weight. Woo! All right. So where are we now? I have so much things to talk about. <laughs> 
I have so much things to talk about. But you know, I just want to give God glory. I just want to give him praise. I just want you to know that today belongs to God. Today belongs to Jesus. I just want to continue to repeat it and let you know that when you talk about me, you talk about my story, whether it's going to be good or bad, just remember to say God is good. Okay. All right. So fast forward to when I came out of the hospital, I lost a lot of weight. I was extremely sick. The wound that I had, they couldn't close it because my skin was rotten. Like, you know, they can't sew that up. So it has to close by itself. Um, when I came out of the hospital, I went back into the hospital again because obviously, I guess because they work on my stomach, I started to have all kind of side effects and stuff. So I had another problem. Lord Jesus, I'm full of problem. I'm sorry. Well, guys, they're about to come get me for the surgery again. As you know, I've been having health issues and this is my fourth surgery. Fourth surgery in a three months. Um, I don't know what to say, how I feel. It's like my mind blank. I don't know if I think, if me can't bother if me. I don't know. All I know is that I just put my trust in a God and I just leave it all up to him. That's all I know. But pray for me, guys. All right, you so, can go. You ready? Yeah. All right, so I, I, I went back into the hospital again after I came out. Um, for something that they call cholecystitis, they wanted to do another surgery procedure on me to remove my gallbladder because I was having issues again in the stomach area. I feel like from the moment they went to my stomach, there's so many different things that was happening. And fast forward, I went back to the hospital again, okay? And for this past six months, I've been in and out of the hospital and in and out of surgery, right? And so again, I want to tell you the walk that I had with Jesus, that God is good. He kept me, he brought me through. And so I never intentionally, intentionally was staying away from you guys or was keeping any secrets or was it what I was really just going through a lot and I was going through it. And I appreciate the prayers so much. I remember, you know, hearing that people was praying for me and I was just so grateful. I don't want to cry again or talk about it because it's like I get so emotional sometimes. But I just want everybody to know, say, if you took the time out to pray for me, I appreciate it. As long as it was a genuine prayer, as long as you really genuinely cared and you loved me and you was praying and you was concerned, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because your prayers went from your lips to God's ears and he heard it. Your prayers was answered. I am grateful. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I am truly just honored to be chosen with this testimony from God. I am honored to be able to say that I escaped debt. I am honored to be given a second chance to life. Fast forward to the picture that I posted when I appeared to be pregnant. It still goes back to show not everything that you see with the eyes you believe on Instagram. Because like I said, not because you see somebody happy and laughing on Instagram, that means their life is really happy. And that's what it is. So don't follow everything that you see. I never said I was pregnant. I said, God has been good to me. And that picture is just, for me, celebrating my new life. It's me celebrating my journey, my walk. It's me wanting to have that picture to blow up and put in my house. To remember that there's a God. To remember that I got a second chance at life. To remember that I have a new life. Um, so from time to time, if you hear me speak about my first life and my second life, do not think I'm crazy because I died in my first life and I was given a second life, a second chance at life. And I do not take that for granted. I do not take that lightly. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks on all the praise. And I want to say, thank you, Jesus, that, you know, I escaped death, that I was given a second chance chance to life that was my rebirth it's my new life i um 
I do have a song that's called New Life. But I never wanted this to be about songs and promoting songs. This is, this is God time. This is God moment. So the New Life song that I have will come later. It's not about that. You notice I'm not playing no songs in the background. I'm not trying to promote any songs. This is not about me. This is not about, you know, no promotion or it's just be me being real and honest and open. And today is just God time. This is just my rebirth. This is me celebrating with you for telling us, listen, bestie, I got a second chance. I'm grateful. This is my rebirth. This is my new life. All the songs and other will come after. I actually, um, big up Coach Starmy. I see you. Let's celebrate this queen. Thank you so much, Coach Starmy. I love you. You're an inspiration. Big up yourself and continue to do the amazing things with your beautiful black woman. I, you know, appreciate that. Kim Possible, big up yourself. Um, I will learn music. Big up yourself. Thanks for um, accepting me when I was in Jamaica. I'll get to everybody in the comments, but let me just give God his glory and um, finish my story because I'm not going to keep talking about it. And after today, you guys can say whatever you want to say. As long as me do my assignment, that is really what it's about. Because this is an assignment. And so, even when people tag me in my ear, they might talk about, oh, we're going to cancel Spice and Ray, Ray, Ray. You can't cancel what God assigned. Let me just make that clear. So, but you just back up and forget about that because you can't cancel God assignment. God assigned me for this. You hear? All right. I was chosen. Nobody made me get in a Grace Hamilton and turn Sister Grace found and go. My scar, where I'm at right now, I want to show you um, lifetime because I want you to know that when I talk about my God, that he is king. My scar is very minimal. I don't know if you can see. Um, but that is, can you see? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's my scar in real life. He took me from that, where you see, to this. And you want him to say, there's not a God. You want him to say, Jesus is not king. You want him to say, huh, being in a hospital and seeing myself like that, laying out, can't walk. Because I wasn't able to walk because I didn't have no stomach. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to learn to talk again. I had to learn to sing again. Lord Jesus, yeah, I didn't even know that I could even talk at one point. When I woke up in the DR, they had some things going through my, my throat, going holding on to my lungs. I woke up like a robot. My two hands was tied to the bed because they didn't want me to wake up in fright. Oh, mighty Jesus. Oh, God. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to, 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 to learn, like, when I wake up, I couldn't even talk. Um, so many moments, so many testimony. But God is good. Jesus is king. Like, I just want to give God the glory and the honor and the thanks and the praise. Like, mighty God, you walk me through a journey. You give me the testimony. You know, um, so that was, that's, that's the scar. It's, it's fully closed. It's healed. I'm so much better. I'm grateful. Um, the scar is minimal. And I know that with even time, it will look like it's not even there. So I'm just so super grateful. Um... Yeah, man. So big up to Father God, big up to Jesus. He literally gave me a new life and that's what I'm celebrating. That's all it is. Um, it was never, it was never intentionally done for the picture to offend anyone. And so if it did offend anyone, then I apologize and I'm sorry if it offended you, but it was never about anything or anyone, any woman that can't get pregnant. I sympathize. I have friends and family that went through different things, miscarriages, infert like all of that. But it was never about that. It was just about celebrating my new life, giving God glory, giving God thanks for this new life, for this new journey. It's like a rebirth. I'm a brand new person. I feel rejuvenated. Um, yes, I will be in Cayman next week. 24th, I'm going to be in Cayman. 8th, I'm going to be um, Amazura, right in New York, April 8th. I'm coming to Jamaica right after to perform. Um, I'm definitely going to be in Bermuda to perform. So I'm healed. I'm ready. I would never come out if I know that I'm not fully ready, you know, to represent as your queen. And 
yeah, I just wanted to give God all the glory, all the honor, and all the thanks, all the praise. I got that out. I've shown you everything. I'm not going to come back and keep talking about it. There are so many funny moments about it. And if it's not going to be funny, I'm not going to come back and say, oh, Lord Jesus, I went through that. Like, that was my story. That was my journey. That's what I went through. Um, I'm so grateful to everyone. Yes, I did release a song today. It's called God Have Bless Me. And it's out on every platform. Um, my music video is out as well. Um, I did a gospel song and I didn't release it and I, I, I couldn't release it. I think I want to do a gospel album. But when I did the gospel song, the gospel song is really what I wanted to come back out with. But it never sound... Gospel is my favorite genre. I don't know if I've ever said it before. But it just never sound like gospel. You know when people sing gospel, I tell you all the time, you know. Gospel is a feeling. You have to feel it. You can't hear the gospel of the people, them vice, the people, them were right with God. Because I don't know, one of them, they make them trick on you, and all of them right, you know. But when somebody is a true believer, and them have the anointing, you don't have to ask them. You can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't hear it. And so when I did my gospel song, I never liked it because it's like, I'm such, I'm such a big critique of myself. And so I did not release a gospel song first, but I did do a reggae song that is coming out next week. Um... And that is called Spice Marley, my reggae song, yeah. I don't care what I want to say. I got the song name. Lord God, you know me by my name. You know me by my number. Jesus in heaven, my kings of kings, my lords of lords, I thank you, dear God, for what you've walked me through. Father Jesus, I beg you, dear God, to be merciful unto me. I ask that you'll forgive me of all my sins and all my transgression. As I pray, dear God, on this life, I pray for each and every one of us that is here, dear God. And I pray, dear God, that you'll continue to bless us in our own little special way. You know each and every one of our issues that we are having. And so, God, we place it into your hands, Lord Jesus. You know us before creation, dear God. And so I just want to give you the glory, the honor, the thanks, and the praise. Father God, I want to thank you that last night wasn't our last night. And I pray eternal everlasting, Father God. Heal, O him. Heal, O we, chastity. You are my kings of kings, my lords of lords. I thank you for everything that you've given given me that you've walked me through for my journey i pray for each and every one of us here on the life today dear god that you would bless us in your special way in jesus name i pray i give you thanks i love you i am grateful for life amen amen i love you guys um i'm excited my journey starts my new journey um starts today um, so you'll be seeing me more often. I'll be going live more often. Um, somebody say, are you scared to perform on stage again? Um, I don't know. I've been sweating for hours. I don't know if I sweat, but I'm not scared. Queen is still here. I tell you that I'm fully healed. I'm rejuvenated. I'm ready to do this again. Yes. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent better and ready again. I'm even, I think I'm even better than before. So yes, I'm not scared just to answer your question. Spice, I love your new song, It Bad. Thank you so much. God have blessed me. Yes, God have blessed me song is out today. And I tell Richie feeling that I ate him every day. But I think today I want to tell him that I love him. I love you, Richie. You are like, most of the times when I call you, when I, you know, I'm going through a dark place, you don't know, like, just talking to you. Even though you're so mixed up, and you come like one satellite, they share a ramp for giving me the people them business. It does something to me. It makes me happy to know that somebody actually cares about me. So big up to Richie. I love you. The media was going crazy too. The day media was going crazy. I was disappointed in a lot of media. One of the media, especially from England, um, I need to give him a call just to ask, why would you come out as someone from the media that people look up to? Because you have a lot of media where we look up to. You have media, when a media bring it, you, you believe. But why would you come out and say I was in a coma? When you, you never hear from nobody, like I literally have Ray Alexander, my booking agent number on my page 
and speaking to him, I said, did this person call you? He's like, no. Then why wouldn't you pick up your phone and call Ray and ask for facts before you, 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 you bring it to my fans and push them in a one shock? For say me have a heart attack, for say me in a coma, for spread all these rumors and all these lies that was so unnecessary. It's like when I take advantage of the situation and clout chase, even when I was dying in my lowest moment, when I still, I use my name for clout. Even people when I not talk to, I use my name for clout. Even the enemy, them, I use my name for clout. Like, come on, I don't have no humanity. Somebody says, sue them. And you see, a lot of times I had, you know, the capabilities of suing a lot of people from the media, but that's just not what I'm about. I think I've kind of accepted that I'm a celebrity i'm a famous person so people will have their own opinion and i think i value like everybody's opinion of me and i feel like not everybody are gonna like you and i think that's something that we all have to learn to accept and learn to know that the more haters you have you know you just have to make them be a motivation and so i'm not even that angry person to say me go cost nobody or me go you know like i tell you the second life has really opened my eyes for me it has changed me a lot it has made me become a better person i'm more patient you know and so to each his own if anybody out there want to do wrong that's their answer to god it's not my answer and so i leave them to do what they want to do but i am i am a person like i said i'm a woman of god so i'm gonna try my best to live by his word as much as i can when i went through what i went through a lot of people was like oh my god this is so tragic you have to go baptize you have to go this you have to go that but my heart with god is at a place where nobody cannot tell me different like my relationship with god like my testimony can already tell you that me have a relationship with god but I'm not going to rush to baptize if I know I'm not 100% ready. Like 80% of me can go get baptized because I live in his truth. I live in his word. You know, I'm a strong believer. But what I'm to the next 20% when no say me I go f before me married. Like what I'm to the other 20% when no certain look at things. Every time I talk, one bad will come out of my mouth. Like there's so many things to this that it's not an overnight thing. But I'm taking my walk. And I know that the day will definitely come because I'm a woman of God. I'm a strong believer, but I'm not going to run and jump and get baptized until I know for a fact. Say me 100% ready for take that walk there. Me 100% ready for take that journey there. Because enough people jump up and run going to church and me and Uno and God know say, Uno never ready. And uh, only not ready. And then you know, become a new sense to people and make people have this bad things we say about Christian. I only do it, you know, and nobody else I only do it. But I'm not gonna walk that walk until I know that I am one hundred percent ready to walk that walk. Yeah. Me know what did we say say me go fuck on them look or something there. Yeah, come let me look at sex and them something. There. So when me go take up myself no <laughs> me not gonna tell me. <laughs> So that's it for today, massive mountain. I beg upon a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount of Massey. Mount of Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.